Hi guys, this is Seal Gauskis, and this is another new algebra lesson. It's called How to Solve Vertical Motion Problems. So here's the problem. An athlete throws a discus from an initial height of 6 feet and with an initial vertical velocity of 46 feet per second. After how many seconds does it hit the ground? Okay. So our formula is h equals negative 16t squared plus vt plus s. t equals time, v equals vertical velocity, and s equals initial height. So it's we we don't know what the h is. So we're gonna set it to zero. They said that our vertical um, velocity was 46 feet per second. And our initial height was 6 feet. From here, we can factor out a negative 2 because negative 2 can go into negative 16, 46, and 6 because we always want our leading coefficient positive. Okay, <clears throat> so we can factor we could factor this thing right here. Okay. I'm gonna do a, a like a trick so I don't have to be guessing how to factor it. The trick is like fact it's like Factor in trinomials using the AC method, where you take the coefficient, which is usually, which you usually do this only when it's greater than one, and multiply that to the C, because this is A, this is B, C. And if you were, this number is A, B, and C. So eight times negative three is negative twenty-four. So we're obviously going to have a plus and minus here. Okay, that works. And now you stick the 8 that you multiplied back in there. So, 0 is not equal to negative 2. Eight can't go into this, because you if it does, then you, you would usually take that number out, but eight can't go into one, so, but eight can go into 24. See, 8t minus 24, but I just took the 8 out because it is a great GCF. And then just simplify this. Disregard the 8. Also disregard this. The reason this can't be the answer is because there is no negative time. Therefore, leaving 3 seconds as our answer. So it takes 3 seconds for the discus to hit the floor. Okay, so tune in next Saturday for a new math lesson, I guess. Alright. 
see you then. Bye.